Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. Uh, wow. Um, we're in a really strange time, and I know that we're all seeing this. I know we're all feeling this. Uh, the church, you know, it, people are saying, well, now be the church instead of go to church. And that's true, except for back then when they were having the church and being the church back then, they were going to people's homes. They were interacting. They were being in that close space. And so for us, it's, you know, how you doing and texting and, and calling and stuff like that, which is good. So we're navigating that kind of way to figure out how to be the church. But I got to be honest, I miss you guys. And it's, it's funny because I'm not visiting families. I'm not stopping off at people's homes. I'm not uh, Sunday morning when we had seven people in the worship area. Uh, bare bones to be able to do the things that we needed to. I, I miss seeing people on Sunday. I miss pe I miss my Sunday school class that I teach. I miss the Sunday night Bible study class that we have. We're going through the book of Revelation. I, I miss you guys. And uh, that's a really good thing. This past week, a friend of mine who's a minister in northern uh, Mississippi posted something that he copied from someone else. And I just want to read this to you for just a moment. So uh, and here's how here's how we can help each other, and here's how you can still show support and love on the church. This is what this copy of this report that he put out, or this note that he put out, says: When Sunday comes, your pastors will be standing in front of a church that are totally empty, preaching to a room of chairs, carrying the weight of the congregation on their shoulders, wondering how everyone is doing. I do that a lot right now. I'm oh, I'm wondering, how is everybody? Wondering what this is going to look like on the other side. Wondering how the finances are going to fare in light of all of this. So when Sunday comes, jump on live stream. Don't watch it later because you got all day. Be on time. Participate in it. Uh, see what's happening. Have your pastors back. Pray when prayer is happening. Worship alongside the worship leader. Be present and be engaged. Let him know that you're watching by commenting and sharing. It's going to be weird, maybe even uncomfortable for pastors everywhere. And that's true. Be faithful to your church. I know your news feed will be flooded with live streams and countless churches, but please be faithful to your church if you have live stream available. You can watch it on, uh, you can watch the others later. Finally, be sure to give. Your church still has a budget to meet bills to pay. Your pastor is still working. Mail in your tithes and offering to your church. Go online. Use the app. Whatever ways is available to give, please do so. Pastors weigh, uh, carry the weight of the church finances on their shoulders. It can be heavy load in good times, but even more so in tough times. Be faithful in tithes and offerings. Keep supporting missions until Sunday comes. Be in focused prayer and intercession for your pastor and his lonely Sunday gathering, for your city, for your nation, and for and for the nations of the world. It's very true. So we need you to be there on Sunday mornings. We need you to be in the parking lot if that's where you want to meet and watch the live streams. We need you to be on at 11 and, and watch it and, and participate and help and encourage and love on the people who were there. Now, that being said, we still know that there are several of the people that go to the church who don't know how to download the app. Please call the office. Talk to Samantha. Talk to myself. We will help you with this. And uh, I'm hoping that this will all be over soon so that we can be together. I miss you guys. And I can't wait to see what we're going to be like when we, leave, when we come back together. Hopefully more energized. Hopefully more excited. Hopefully looking forward to seeing what the kingdom has in store for us. So keep praying. Stay safe. Man, I can't wait to be with you guys. All right, you guys have a great week, and I will see you Sunday morning at 11. All right, bye, everybody.